there, and welcome to this quick look into the recent trailer for Season 2 of Arcane. I'm so happy to be back and talking about Arcane. I really, really look forward to when the last season comes out. And speaking of last, I'm also really, really happy that the show ends with Season 2. I mean, would I love to have season after season of such great television? Absolutely. But the problem is that a TV series rarely keeps being as great as the initial season unless the whole thing is thought through from beginning to end. Generally speaking, at least. In my opinion, there has to be a coherent story from start to finish for a show to continue to be as good. There are too many examples of shows that are lengthened because of good ratings and popularity. It's such a shame because it waters out the story and the narrative coherence. So I am overjoyed that we get a show that has been planned out completely. Thank you, Kristen Linke, for not compromising the integrity of the show. Anyway, sorry for the rant, back to the content. This new trailer follows in the footsteps of the first teaser that they released just after season one had aired. The focus is on the struggles between Vi, Jinx and Caitlyn. There are a few peaks of other characters, like this one, who I guess is this guy? and this one who might be this guy. <laughs> but I could care less. Well, I'm pretty sure I will care once season two is over, but right now I'm a little tunnel visioned. I am a little intrigued by not seeing any glimpse of Jace, Victor or Mel, dead or alive, but I guess they're keeping that info close to the chest. Therefore, it's not all of the Season 2 trailer that I'll go through, but just those elements that are close to my heart and follow the train of thought in some of my other videos. Obviously, I like the focus on Vi, Jinx and Caitlyn, since the latest video I made was of the unconventional love triangle I see unfolding between them. And this trailer reveals that the triangle issues are still going strong in Season 2. First things first, Caitlyn. She's my favourite character and is a breath of fresh air in Season 1. I speculated though that she would be darker in Season 2 because of a lot of things, but mainly because of the trauma of being manipulated and kidnapped by Jinx, who ultimately kills her mother. And boy is Caitlyn darker. I mean, look at her face. She's so hateful. There's a very unbecoming sneer on her face. I can no longer swim away in her blue, emotional eyes. <clears throat> now she scares me a little. From being the mediator, the compassionate enforcer, she becomes the aggressor, the one who escalates conflict rather than de-escalating it. And she gets the means to do so with a big, badass Hextech rifle. No! I'm really scared, but also so intrigued by where her character is going. She seems to be a much more integral part of the show than in Season 1, where she is important too, but mostly functions as the add-on to other characters. Here, there's a definite main character vibe. I believe that the more tragic, traumatised and vindictive she becomes, the bigger a part she will play in the show. But who will then be my breath of fresh air? My comic relief? From what I can tell, I'm pretty sure it won't be Vi. Her character has developed towards a softer and less aggressive side towards the end of season one, she and Caitlin switching places like Linky also reveals. But she is shown as being quite aggressive in this trailer. Makes sense now that we see that she has joined the Enforcers, who are mostly seen as quite aggressive. And more importantly, we finally get to see the big showdown between Vi and Jinx, the big fight that the show intro from season one indicated from the very beginning. When it takes place and who wins is anybody's guess, but Jinx certainly uses all the tools in her belt to try and take down Vi. In almost all other images of Vi in the trailer, she looks rather sad and disheartened, so not a happy season for her though I never expected it to be. Going after your own sister like this must be devastating. But in the showdown, she doesn't look sad, but instead angry and determined. It seems to me that she feels justified in going against her own sister, which probably means that she has made a choice that has put Jinx in the category of either an enemy 
or as not family. Which could also be why she uses the name Jinx instead of Powder. Speaking of Jinx, we don't see her much until the end of the trailer. But unlike Vi, she still emphasizes their sisterhood. Are we still sisters? Either because she still feels it, Vi being her only remaining connection, or because she knows using the word will bother Vi. She emphasizes the word sarcastically. Sister. So either she's provoking Vi, or she's accusing Vi of breaking that sisterly bond. Either way, there's no easing up on Jinx's part. As I said, we don't see Jinx much, but we do see images of her on walls. This tells me that there's a period of time in season two where she is most likely missing or perhaps presumed dead. A period where we don't see her much or at all. This could be in a time skip like in season one or during War with Noxus, an event that these clips seem to indicate. The Wanted poster shows one side of Jinx as society's crazy enemy number one. But she is also shown as a more positive symbol in this mural. To me it looks like a call for rebellion like the Friends Revolution. She is the symbol for going against the oppressive pilties, the rich and the entitled. She is leading the way, sacrificing herself for a greater cause. Not exactly the Jinx we know and love. And it's definitely not the Jinx that Echo knows, though the trailer shows him just before we see the mural. But he's connected to this mural somehow, because it's painted in the style of the firelights. So we can speculate that, one, Echo changes his mind about Jinx in a positive way. Two, his people go against him and favor Jinx. Or three, he uses Jinx as a symbol in the war against Piltover. None of these scenarios completely make sense or explain the mural, but if I had to guess, it's the latter option that is the likeliest. I don't think it would be beyond Echo to bend the truth like that, showing Jinx as a force for the revolution. It also supports the theory that Jinx is presumed dead for a period of time in season two, because a martyr is definitely the best to use as a symbol. The dead don't change. Having said this, I don't think she's dead. If she dies, it's at the very end of season two. In my opinion, she's too important for the central story arc to be out of play until the very end. The final thing I want to speak about is of course my favorite desire, to have Vi and Caitlin get together for real. It's one thing to fall in love, but quite another to act on those feelings, to get moves that are unequivocally romantic. <laughs> this teaser doesn't help with that at all. <sighs> if anything, the trailer makes it less likely. For one, because Caitlin is so bitter and vindictive. And for another, because we don't get any moments where they actually look at each other. And last but not least, the editing of this sequence Wants the viewers to think that Caitlin is actually shooting Vi? Nope. Not happening. Caitlin would never ever do that. Even if she is darker, just... No! So what is she shooting? Who knows? But my money is either on Jinx, or that she's shooting a blimp out of the sky. Airship, actually. An airship has a rigid metal hull. Oh. It's not a blimp. Uh, yeah, so sorry, yes. Details matter. And speaking of details, I can't help thinking that this view of Caitlin having Vi in her sights is code for something. At least I think this trailer showing nothing romantic between them tells me that the showrunners want to surprise us. They want to give us an unexpected gift of love, a beautiful flower blossoming in the midst of all the hate violence and misery. So I still have hope. I believe in my heart that we'll get a confirmation of love and some action in that area in season two. Whether they're still together when the show ends is a lot less likely, I'm afraid. The story is a tragedy after all. Well, I could talk a lot more, but I'd actually rather wait for the actual season two. Or maybe another trailer later. 
Anyway, season two promises to be just as good as season one, if that's even possible. I mean, just listen to the music in the trailer. It sets my spirits soaring. Riot and Fortiche will be firing on all cylinders like season one. I can't wait. So this is it for now. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any ideas for season two and violin. And we'll talk. Bye.